Hey everyone, it's Collider News, and yep, Mask, the movie, is coming. F. Gary Gray, my direct, we're gonna break it down right now. All right, Dorian, this property, Mask, Mobile Armored Strike Command, a property, a toy that I grew up with. Do you know anything about it? I'm gonna be honest. Not, I haven't, I don't <laughs> know much about it. I was a Transformers fan back in the day. I wasn't, I missed the mark barely on this, okay. on this mask. Oh, I highly recommend looking at the old series and maybe even looking at some of the old toys. They are some of the, the most fun I had as a kid. And you know, I knew that possibly Mask would be on the block for Hasbro's and Paramount Pictures All Spark. They have Transformers, they have G.I. Joe, they have Rom the Space Knight, sure. But now they have Mask and according to Deadline, F. Gary Gray is looking to develop the film and then possibly direct. Nothing's finalized as of yet, but this is happening thanks to Deadline. So you think F. Gary Gray, did you see his Fast and Furious? Yeah. How do you feel about him taking on Mask? This makes me excited for the project. Actually, I want to go back and learn more about Mask because if they're if they want him to take on the project and him to helm it, then that, that means that they have faith in this unit or in this movie in this universe because yeah. he's handling Fast and Furious. He's handling the Man in Black spinoff movie, which is just about aliens, all these right. creatures un going on about it's what's going on in his imagination. So yeah. if they trust him with this, and I'm really excited for it to see what he can build with these robots. It's kind of it's kind of like his version of Transformers. They're they want to target it to a, um, a younger audience. I think that's what it said in the article. So yes. hopefully they're trying to build up a new cinematic franchise with Mask. And then, like you said, we can try to get a cinematic universe and, and spin it off with crossover events with Transformers, G.I. Joe, because I know about a couple years ago that in the comic books, they did Hasbro released a comic where it was a crossover event of all of them. So yeah. if they can pull that off somehow in this universe, then I'm excited. And that's what they're looking to do. AllSpark, I think, really came out and said, we'd like to make a shared universe. We'd like to all these properties to kind of exist in the same world. So that does include a G.I. Joe and a ROM Space Knight and a Transformers. But my question is, are they going to reboot G.I. Joe? Are they going to reboot Transformers? Or are we gonna jump off the projects that we've already seen, all the Transformers movies, all the G.I. Joe movies, and then start to introduce these new properties into that universe? We haven't seen Transformers. We haven't seen G.I. Joe together. Right. And I wonder in the movie universe, could they exist? But I I would probably, I would, I would just say reboot it, soft I reboot. I would too. You, you try to find a way to bring back The Rock, but it'd still be a kind of a soft reboot because some fan, like the uh, G.I. Joe 2 kind of left a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths. Yeah. And also the Transformers movie universe, people really weren't feeling Michael Bay. Yeah, made a lot of money, but my personal opinion, I really wasn't feeling those movies. So if they can try to do a soft reboot of both those franchises and then introduce them through Mask, I think that'd be the best way to go and then do a bunch of spinoff movies from there. I, I totally agree with you, actually, because you know you guys know my feelings on the Transformers movies. They're not good. And so I'm interested to see what uh, Travis Knight, Kubo and the Two Strings Travis Knight, will bring to the Bumblebee spinoff. We're gonna see that in December. Mm -hmm. And then I wonder if they're gonna reboot it. But you brought up The Rock, that's a great point. G.I. Joe, could they use him and his character to kind of soft reboot and go into a G.I. Joe movie that then meets up with Mask and we see that kind of dynamic? Or do we cast The Rock as the lead Ooh. in Mask? That's an interesting question. I but didn't even think about that. that yeah, that'd be, that ooh, because he re, and he has worked with Rock in the past uh, with the with the uh, Fast, Fast and, and Furious. Furious. So he can be like, hey, you're, hey, you're Rock. <laughs> I got another franchise you want to jump on. What's up? I'm so. down with that. And you did bring up F. Gary Gray. He did say that he sparked two masks because of the vintage brand of it. It was an '80s staple for me. I played mm -hmm. with all the toys, and then to introduce it to a younger audience that they can get behind because Mask is a great property. It has all the bells and whistles of a very cool franchise. Cool Mask goes on. Everybody's ready for battle against Venom, the bad guys, which is kind of like Cobra and G.I. Joe, but we're that's beside the point. So we could get this shared universe. F. Gary Gray, he's starting to branch out now. Mm -hmm. We know the Men in Black spinoff that you mentioned. He's directed Friday. The guy can do humor. Do it all. He can do action. He can do it all. This gets me excited. F. Gary Gray directing a mask movie. Kind of the nerd. My prayers have been answered. I'm getting a mask movie. This has me excited, but does it have you guys excited? Drop some comments. And do you want a mask movie? Do you think it should be part of a bigger shared universe that include Rom the Space Knight, G.I. Joe, Transformers. That is crazy to think. And are you happy that it's F. Gary Gray taking the helm? Drop in those comments, like and share this video, get everybody talking. Do we want a mask movie? We wanna hear from you. And stay tuned, tomorrow 
on Collider Video. We'll have Movie Talk live at 9 a.m. PST. We will see you there.